Hi, my name is Insu, creator at InView. In this tutorial, you're going to learn about how to make a skin product. By the end of this video, you will know how to derive from the base skin product, how to edit or create a skin texture, how to name a skin texture, and how to assign textures in Studio. I assume that you have watched the tutorial about texturing first, and if you haven't, I recommend you to watch it first before this video for easier understanding. Without further ado, let's get started. Before we dive into editing a skin texture, we need to derive from the base skin product and set up what we need in Studio. Simply switch to search mode to PID and search 252. You can also navigate to it by selecting Women, Body, Skin and Makeup. When you find the item, click on it and click Derive. When you're making a skin, you want your avatar to wear as few items as possible in order for you to see the whole skin texture clearly and keep the loading time short. Once you're done, you can start making the skin. A skin texture consists of two parts, the one for the head and the one for the body. Together, they wrap around the whole avatar just like a gift wrap. There are two ways to make a skin texture. You either edit the existing texture or create it from scratch. In order to edit it, you use 2D graphics editors such as Photoshop, GIMP, and so on. You can also use any program as long as you can edit images with it. If you want to create a skin texture from scratch, you need to use a skin template. A skin template shows the guideline of each and every body part, so you can use it as a reference when you create your own unique texture. If you aim to create a realistic skin texture, I recommend you to edit existing skin texture because it is so much easier to add on the existing details than to draw all of them by yourself from scratch. From here on is about editing the actual skin. You open your favorite graphics editor and import the existing skin texture. I personally use Clip Studio Paint and you might be using a different program but it doesn't really matter because the main features needed to edit a skin texture are basic ones, very basic ones that any graphics editor has. And the techniques I'm going to be using in this video can be applied across all such programs. Once you open the program, go to File and Import and select the base texture files for both the head and the body. These files are provided by InView for free and you can download it from the link in the description. Once you import the files, you will notice that certain parts of the texture are covered. And this is because this skin is for GA. According to InView's virtual goods policy, GA stands for General Audience and AP stands for Access Pass. GA skins are not supposed to include genitalia and if you are to make an AP skin, you can simply turn off this layer to reveal all body parts. In order to begin editing, you add a layer on top of the file, then start adding your own details. My tip is to set a symmetry ruler in the middle of the texture so that you only have to care about one side of the texture and whatever you put here will all be mirrored on the other side. After setting up the ruler, use the airbrush tool to build on the texture. Use a darker shade for shadow, wrinkles, and other details and a lighter shade for parts that need volume, like the forehead, shoulders, breasts, abs, and so on. When you save your files to be imported into Studio, they must be named exactly like this. This naming convention is required by InView in order to have skins appear correctly when other clothing items that may include avatar skin are worn by the avatar. Failure to name the textures correctly will result in skins not appearing on heads, hands, and other body parts. Let's try assigning the head texture first. Click on the plot and click what's under the diffuse asset. Click add image and you get to assign the head texture you saved earlier. Do the same for the body texture, then click preview. Now your skin is on your avatar. If you set up and name the textures correctly, but your skin is not working properly, it might be because of compatibility issues. There are certain products which will not work with your skin because of how they were constructed. Some examples of these include clothing products of which the skin textures have been changed and the materials have not been set to overridable. Heads of which the creator has replaced the face texture. 
Now that you know how to make skins, I hope you have fun creating.